This is KLBK's The Blitz, Friday night high school football. It's been over five months since coronavirus halted the sports world, but tonight high school football is back and so is The Blitz. I could go on and on about how exciting it is to have sports once again, but we've waited long enough, so let's get to the games. The first one is our only Lubbock ISD school in action. The Estacado Matadors down in Midland to take on the team that handed in their only loss in 2019, that being the Greenwood Rangers. Estacado strong on D to start the game, forcing a three and out on the first drive. The Rangers not finding that offensive footing they had in the playoffs. And on the other end, the Matadors marched right down the field on their first drive. Jalen Dobbins keeping himself for the 10 yard rushing touchdown. Six nothing Estacado, but the Mats are aggressive going for two. Dobbins looking for Colby Sims there. A Ranger bats it away. And then Greenwood, the offense, gets going right on the goal line. Trey Cross gets the handoff, walks in the TD, 8-6. Greenwood after they get their two-point conversion to go. Later in the half, same story, different drive. Cross again, crosses the goal line, and the deficit now 14-6. Estacado ends up losing this game, a tough one, 28-12. Our Leah Doherty was down there for the entire game, Midland Greenwood Estacado. Leah, you mentioned, you know, throughout this game, this is something that Estacado, they really wanted to get this one, but more than anything, they really wanted to learn from this game. Did they do that? Yeah, Ryan, that's right. We mentioned earlier how Estacado didn't have the chance to scrimmage last week. So naturally, this being the first time they get to face a live opponent, this game is going to expose some of their flaws. We've talked about how they have a young offensive line. They only return two player, two starters on the defense. But even with taking all of that into account, Estacado did really come out strong in this first quarter. Greenwood was forced to punt on their first three possessions and were up 6-0 in the first quarter. From there, it just seemed like quarterback Jalen Dobbins couldn't connect with his receivers getting sacked before the half. But on the Matadors' first drive of the second half, Dobbins did complete a 53-yard pass to TJ Steele, but that would be their second and last touchdown of the game. Now, I caught up with head Estacado football coach Joe Cluley, and he says he was really proud of how his team did defensively, but offensively they just have to rush for more yards if they want to be able to close out these games. And he says his message to his team was pretty simple. Let's learn from this game. Let's learn from our flaws. Let's move forward. Next week we have a new opponent to look at. We still have a whole season of football left to play, and they feel very thankful, very lucky that they were even able to play this first game. So moving forward, you know, try not to get too emotional about it like we talked about earlier. And Coach Cluley seemed to be in a little bit of high spirits. We talk about how big of a competitor he is. Obviously, it doesn't feel good to lose your first game, but he says, you know, he wants his team to really learn from this and move forward. Yeah, a lot of learn from this one. Thanks, Leah. We appreciate it. Back in town, another 4A school in action is Leveland hosting Andrews. Lobo's looking to start the season 1-0, but Andrew strikes first here with EJ Lopez. Pitches it off to Lucas Esparza, who gets into the end zone. That's 7-0. But then Leveland, they strike right back. They like that tempo offense. Coach Carell's talking about that. Isaiah Salazar, he cuts, breaks this one, a big run, and he is gone. Lobo's would add a two-point conversion. They would actually take the lead here, making it 8-7, but they end up falling in a shootout, 56 to 47, your final there in a very high scoring one. Now to Shallow Water High School, where the Mustangs hosted the Abernathy Antelopes. In the first, Shallow Water's backs Townsend. He airs it out to find Bo Brockman. That's a 40 yard gain down to the five yard line. Very next play, Townsend keeps it himself and his tough run. It's enough for six. We stay in the first, though. Mustangs, they're knocking on the door once again. This time, it's a sweep for Caleb Batson, who outruns the Antelopes to the pylon. 14 0 Shallow Water. Second quarter, Abernathy, they get deep into the red zone. They're kind of trying to cut into this lead. Fourth down, Josh Hull's throw. It's completed, but it's out of bounds. Shallowwater gets the stop. The Mustangs end up winning this one. A big win over number six, Abernathy, 26-6. Now over to Idaloo High School for the matchup with the Wildcats and the Mustangs of Denver City. Mario Sanchez looks for an open receiver. It's almost intercepted here by Brandon Vision, but no one can quite make the play here in the first quarter. Idaloo has the early lead 14-0 thanks to defensive plays like that by the Wildcats. Idaloo's on offense now. Ryan Lozano, he gets the pitch, runs it in for the touchdown. This pushes the Idaloo lead to 20 to nothing. And then from way out, another handoff. Brock Leatherwood right up the middle. Too much. That's a touchdown for Idaloo once again. 27 to nothing. Wildcats pull away in this one. Get the easy win there. Now Lubbock Roosevelt Eagles, they're hosting. The River Road Wildcat, oh, sorry, Seminole there, 8 to 48. Dumas gets the big one over Seminole. Dumas, very good team, nothing to be embarrassed by there. Now, Brownfield, they lose to Friono, that's 26 to 13. 
La Mesa dropping one at San Angelo Lakeview, 35 to eight. And now more scores here. Slayton beating Snyder, 20 to 14. Littlefield actually getting the huge win over Dimmon at home, 56 to nothing, a lot of offense in that one. Continue to move on here. A very low scoring affair. Sundown at home, barely beating Mule Shoe. That's six to zero defensive battle in that one. Now we go out to, this is the Roosevelt game. This is what we were talking about here. All right here early on. Kickoff almost returned there. Really good play, honestly, by Roosevelt here. They're looking for these early games here. They have to score early in the game. Jacob Torres on that. He keeps it himself here. The stiff arm gets him all the way in for the touchdown. Roosevelt really feeling it in this one. That touchdown puts them up 6 to nothing after the PAT is no good. Torres now throwing the ball. This one to J.J. Diaz for a touchdown. The PAT once again no good, but it's 12 to nothing. Roosevelt, plenty enough in this one. They end up winning this one 25 to 2. Does Roosevelt big win early in the year for the Eagles? And make sure you don't go anywhere because the second half of the Blitz coming up, we take a look at some of the 2A and 6 man action. New Deal hosting Smyre in that game. And different schools playing in different 11 man moving to a 6 man, 6 man two moving to an 11 man. We'll see how both Ropes and Spring Lake Earth did in their first game. That and more next in the second half of the Blitz.